Hi guys, welcome back to our English lessons. Today we are going to talk about a new chapter of our English grammar and the name of the topic is uh, adverbs and its kinds. So we are going to talk about adverbs first of all uh, and its kinds. So let us read about adverbs first. So words which modify the meaning of verb, adjective or another adverb are called adverbs. I hope that you guys remember the way we discuss about adjectives. They add meaning to a noun or a pronoun. Similarly, when we talk about adverbs, they are adding more meaning to a verb. Like how an action is done, where that action is done, how frequently that action is done. Basically, if you see that it is adding more meaning to the given verb, the course of action. So you guys are going to remember in that way. Don't just cram it, just understand it, okay? So now we're going to talk about type so the very first type is adverb of time okay now it shows us the time at which action takes place now we are talking about a verb verb is what uh, like what the action has taken place or the action action words are called verbs so whenever we are talking about the time of that action that is the adverb of time what is the time right for example ram will complete the work by tomorrow so what is the time when is he going to complete he's going to complete by tomorrow so tomorrow is the adverb of time over here that is the adverb of time now i have met ramesh before so you make me meet one of your friends his name is ramesh when i meet ramesh and i say that isko tumhe pehle bhi mili hui hu i have met ramesh before also so this before would be again Again, adverb of time that depicts the time of that action so more adverbs would be soon later or yesterday tonight then these are some of the examples of adverbs of time I hope that this is clear to you now we'll be moving on to the next type that is adverb of place now again adverb of place is going to show us the occurrence of that action again where that action is uh, taking place so it is uh, talking about the place so for example uh, it includes here there it could be outside or it could be inside it could be top it could be bottom it could be upstairs it could be downstairs so these are the few examples of adverbs of place now let's read the uh, sentences so the first one is some people are fighting downstairs so fighting is the verb that the action that is taking place but where are the people fighting what is the place it is downstairs so downstairs would be the adverb verb in this case okay now my mother has gone out so where has she gone she's gone out my father is waiting outside so again outside would be the adverb of place i hope it's clear to you Moving on to the next type, which is adverb of frequency. Now, adverb of frequency tells us that how frequently an action is taking place. For example, you say that I go to swimming regularly. I go for swimming regularly. So, regularly is the frequency of the action. Ke aap kitna frequently kisi action ko karte hum. So, the, so the examples of the same would be usually, regularly, or daily, or weekly. I go for a monthly checkup. So, again, that would be the adverb of frequency now let us look at some examples now the examples are mohan goes to the temple regularly so here he says that he is going to the temple regularly how uh, like so regularly would be the adverb of frequency i exercise every day so how frequently do you exercise i exercise every day that would be the adverb of frequency which tells us how frequently the action has taken place or it takes place okay now the next type of adverb is adverb of manner as the name suggests now this adverb is going to tell you the manner the manner the way in which something is done it shows the way of occurrence uh, how that action is occurring okay so anything that tells you the manner she talked to me rudely so how did she talk to you she talked with uh, talked to you rudely so rudely would be the manner of adverb so some examples are sadly nicely uh, carelessly these are some examples 
examples of manner the way you doing something or the way something has been done so let us read the examples now this example says that the old couple lived happily how did they live they lived happily that's the manner they lived so happily would be again the adverb of manner sam drives carelessly carelessly would be the adverb of manner so it tells us about how he drives what is the manner he drives uh, right so this is basically indicating the word drives the verb so carelessly would be the adverb of manner okay now the next type of adverb is adverb of degree now degree tells us the intensity what is the intensity of the action that we are doing right for example samira runs very fast very here is telling us about the degree how fast she runs she runs very fast okay uh, he is working too hard for his project now how much hard is he working he is working too hard so too would be again the adverb of degree which is going to tell you the intensity intensity that we are doing any action with that intensity so it will include some words like quite uh, right quite almost very so these would be the examples of degree adverb of degree so our last kind of adverb is interrogative adverbs now these are adverbs which are very easy and we've been discussing it uh, these adverbs are used at the beginning of a sentence to ask questions in the sentences also we have learned that we use them to ask questions okay for example where is my passport you referring to the place like where is it kept and i will answer that it is in the drawer right so that is where i'm referring to a place so here where would be the interrogative adverb when will the train arrive it is referring to the time you are asking that when it is going to arrive why are you so late so you are going to give the reason why are you so late so where when and why are the interrogative adverbs i hope that adverb its kinds are clear to you guys we'll be meeting in our next video till then take care bye bye